Um, I mentioned to y'all last week that I was working on some stuff with NUPA tank and human resource staff. And uh, we've got some void areas that would y'all like me to come around? No, can you give yeah. me one more? I, I give mine to the yeah. car. Just because you sorry. said please. <laughs> You're a good man, sir. Even though you put me on the back burner. Yeah, I'll put me on the committee. That's a good thing for you. I know I'm already against it, but that nomination earlier. Well, what I had done. Uh, done is I've got the human resource and kind of build a chart of some of our areas that is costing us a lot of money and some things of it is broken. Um, across the top is uh, I've got a senior planner listed and a growth management director and at this time I don't think Washington County is, is big enough or, or has got the finances to bring a growth management director in even but, but in, in part of our planning for the future I think maybe it's already in place but but right now um, Washington County is contracted with Northwest Florida, uh, Northwest Florida Planning Council and uh, it's costing us $63,000 a year for that contract and I want to make a proposal to, uh, and right now that employee is working three days a week uh, through our contract. Now that growth is coming back, I think we can get a five day employee that will be here full time that can manage the department, supervise the department and the staff and be focused on the task at hand and not doing as much traveling, just have us a full time person. So, if y'all want me to go through, I, I would like to to to, to be able to, to make a motion to advertise for this position to be full time. Uh, down here, the senior planner, uh, based on our records, it's current and up to date. It will cost. Uh, you know that job's going to run between forty-two thousand and sixty-three thousand, some change. With benefits is down on the bottom, and for the money that we're spending, we could actually potentially save money and have a full-time employee. Mr. Chairman, I don't know if you want to do this in steps, but I'm prepared to make a motion to, uh, if it's appropriate, you have the to, to hire like to, do it. to hire a senior planner. One one thing, uh, Mr. Abbott, we that you may want to discuss and you, that may be part two of your motion is in conjunction with that uh, exiting the contract that we're in beginning that process we're going ahead to approve exiting the contract if, if that's what we yes. would like to do well i'll make a motion that we advertise and hire for a senior planner and make provisions to to get out of the contract that we're in right now with the Northwood Florida. I mean, they, they stepped in in a time of need, and I don't mean to sound not thankful. Um, you know, for most parts, they've done a great job for us with Mr. Durant's leaving. Um, and, and we were in a, in a dire need, and they stepped up to the plate and helped us, and I think we have a good relationship, and I don't want to continue in other areas where we have a relationship with them. But at this time, I think it would serve our citizens of Washington County much better to have a full time where you're looking at several projects going on right now with growth in, in our county and I just think it would serve our county better to have a full time senior planner in place with the county and potentially save money. Again, we're paying right now sixty three six for the contract and bringing somebody in the beginning, you're looking at forty eight three. So you have about fourteen thousand dollars year savings if you went in at the minimum. I don't disagree with the, the fact that I just want to be sure we can the, the, the employment pool 
is there to benefit Washington County. You understand know what I'm saying? Right now, with a contractor, we have the ability to uh, make that person fit our needs in Washington County. So I, I don't want to do away with the contract until we, for sure, that our applicant pool is going to be somebody that's going to benefit Washington County. I, I agree. You know, you know I what I'm saying? I agree. And does the rest of the board, is that? Yeah, I agree that uh, we, we, you know, we're covered right now, but I agree with Mr. Hammond about I, I hope that this individual will, uh, will apply. Oh, absolutely. And, and, and relocate to Washington County, bringing in another taxpayer, right. and, and, you know, him getting even more of the salary. Yeah, but, you, you know, it's my goal. He's young, he's fresh. You know, he can be kicked into shape, be on time, <laughs> you know, all, all the above. Uh, I, I don't disagree with that. And I'll second that motion for a single plan. Okay. Now, since we have that vote, are we doing away with the putting in play the monthly to do away with the contract? I don't want to do away with the contract. I want to sit the wheels in motion. I, I want to hire a senior planner when we get that. That applicant. What is our exit on that it, contract? It's 30 days. It's 30 days. Mm -hmm. So may, maybe I'm not sure of that. Maybe the best way sure Mr. Chairman, is to approve the advertising by the senior planner. Uh, task Kink and staff into doing that advertising and vetting candidates. And then when we get down that road a little bit, we can play with the contract. Right. We'll, we'll give we'll give West Florida a, a courtesy heads up on what we're trying to do. A absolutely, and, and and just because we put a, put an application pool, we'll give it don't necessarily mean that I, that somebody that buys that position that I, that that I, me as a commissioner is going to I, we may not approve one on that out of that pool. So we may have to stay with it. I do not want to get handcuffed with a bad money. Right. Yeah. And I, I mean, we've got personnel policies in place yeah. that we have already in place that we need to utilize. That's the most important. That's so absolutely that's certainly so, the most important growth to watch County a good money. Mr. Edward, do you want to uh, adjust your motion? I'll amend my motion to advertise for a single planner for Washington. Okay, I have a motion. I'll second that. I have a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 So I would also uh, recommend that we, uh, before, when we discuss termination of the contract with West Florida, if this planner works out, how much it would, what, what the potential cost would be to re-enter this, say the planner gets four months down the road and, and doesn't work out or, you know, Whatever circumstances there are, four to six months, we I don't have a problem with right. fail safe. And if this yes, one doesn't work out, we'll terminate it and we'll hire another. Yeah, we want to keep a good report. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, and we have a good relationship yeah. with them in other areas. Right. Yeah. And this may be a licensed planner. They're our, our friends. I'm just yes. asking for a senior planner according to our, what our job description now policies and our job description. And, and uh, so you resource that will then be certified. Sorry, I want to. Are you talking about a certified planner or a licensed planner? Yeah. I just want to be a licensed planner. What is our job description, Miss Marlowe? What is our job description on that? Can we get a copy of that maybe to the commissioners and see what our job description on that is? Absolutely. Let me go get your name. Fine. I don't think now. Uh, just, just for future. Oh, just so we just so we can see what it I'll is. I'll give it to you. All right. Thank you, ma'am. So, uh, yeah. Are we done with that? Yes, we all voted. Yes. Um, number two, I, I know that from here, and, and, and this is not my ideas. All of us make comments. Our staff, county commissioners, phone calls I receive, conversations that you get involved with, being a one-stop shop. You want to come in here, you want to get an address, you want to get a building permit, all in one place. The only thing that we can, cannot do here in this building is a septic tank, but they can walk across the street to the health department and get that done. I think Mr. Clint Erickson's doing a great job don't have any issues with what's going in the front of this board today. I would like for them to be housed in this building. Don't care who they answer to, if they still want to answer to the sheriff, however the board feels, I'm good with any of that. I spoke with uh, 
Kevin Cruz and got tied up and never got back with me, but he did seem to be terribly upset about it. I just want it to be for our citizens of Washington County a one-stop shop, convenient for the people. Mr. Erickson, is he still here or did he already take off? I wish he had stuck around. If, 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 if this is not about the money, the, the other things that, that I want y'all to consider is we know with these funds being tax money, we're li very limited what we can do with the funds. I'm not interested in messing with the funds. But, but if some of the staff is out, the other's gone to a conference, you have phones to answer. And, and therefore, even 911 phones need to be answered if they're out to go to a conference. And, and just a, a big team. It's all part of building and planning for our, for our county. I just want to be all under one roof. So I would like to make, I, I don't even know if it's necessary to have a motion to, and I'm not even going to say bring them back to the county, but have them housed here. What, I, however you all want to do that. What benefit? Just, just, for, just for my clarification, what benefit would it would it behoove the county to, for them to be here versus there? Just, just so I, I, I know. When a person comes in the door, they can get it all done in one place rather than running all over. Mr. Torn, you was a county minister at one Yeah, place. I can address that a little bit. It, it, it was very helpful at that time to have those people here in the house with us. Uh, like Mr. Abbott stated, you know, we. Uh, back one another up and, and cover for each other and, and utilize them you know here in the house for mapping and, and and i've had concerns with citizens too the 911 addressing and all but it would be nice and it is nice to have them here because I, i've lived through that and it is, it is nice to have 911 here in the house and, and, and they work well with the building but i think we just had a discussion just a few minutes ago yeah we did about yeah. how important 911 can be to the building uh, department issuing building permits. So I think that would that would be something that if, if we're going to look at eliminating some of the problems we just talked about, having them close to the building department and the planning department would be a great benefit in you know, working hand in hand to accomplish this thing. Only concern I have with it is you said you spoke with the sheriff one day last week. Mm -hmm. Is that what task? Has the sheriff? The, or the, is he utilized before? I, you know, we're, like you said, we're, we're a huge team. We are, and, and I don't want to move an employee. I'd love for the sheriff to be here. He did promise me he was going to call. Well, I, I don't know, and, and he may he got did. tied up. But I like, I like. Before we did this, I'd yeah. love for us to maybe put this to where we can sit down with the sheriff yeah. and find out if he's got any extra tasks that he's using employees for. Well, with the, with the not, well, I'm, I'm just telling you, with, with the, and we talked about the money yesterday when I sat down and yeah. spoke with him. Oh, and, he, he has, uh, yeah, you can't use money but just for their tasks. That's, that's correct. Well, well the 911 tasks. Yes, exactly. And, and I'm not looking, if he still needs to answer to the, if this board feels more comfortable, he still answers to the sheriff, I'm good with that. It's not about any of that. It's about having a one-stop shop, having people to back each other up, and it all goes together. Right. But there's no doubt that we want everyone to be able to come in and leave here that day with their business that's about. But right. it's like, and there again, if you come in for a 911 address, get your building permit, and then, you know, just like what we looked at here with the three parcels yeah. down a big trail road somewhere, you know, 911 is real handy at that point to address that situation, explain, to help explain to the people what they're dealing with here, you know, what they do need to do before they do this. The Hank permits. Well, Hank left the time I really wanted to ask him a question there. <laughs> he may have gone get something to answer your question. Uh, that may have been the case. I hope you did. That, you better have a good excuse for leaving. That's not a question. Yeah. Because I would have forgotten my question. I, th I think. I do have a comment. I just want to say for the building and planning department, that would be fantastic because we're either calling the money or we're calling the building department. They have to go down there to see them and then they're driving back to the office. And it's sometimes there's miscommunication between the applicant and the coordinator or the applicant in planning and building and we don't know what like you say you don't know what the left hand is doing with the right hand okay. but that I would benefit two offices if they were in this building i don't per se have a problem with it at all but i definitely want us to i, I don't want to cause 
I don't need a heartburn between us and our sheriff's department, so I'd love for us to maybe bring this up. Let's, let's put kick, kick it down the road for one month. Mr. Braxton, can you speak on behalf of the sheriff's department? Yeah. Not for the sheriff. <laughs> <laughs> He's a smart, very smart man. But that, I tried. I tell you what, with board task me with that, let me let me go sit down with the sheriff yes. and, and, and the 911 before yes. we make this move and, and make sure that every thing that he utilizing them for can be accomplished. Be accomplished. I, I mean, and, and the chairman has the authority to give that to you. Mr. Hopkins, I'll give it to the sheriff's department. Give me the sheriff. Don't give it to Joe. Give me the sheriff's department. I think we, I think we can work. You've got, you've got pretty handy. I, I tell you, I, the only way I'm taking that over is if somebody takes the first pass. Go give it. Can, can, can we can we put that in the form of a motion to approve it contingency upon your meeting with him? Well, can we? Let's just wait till next month, and then we we we'll clarify that one next month. I think it won't be a problem. Let's wait, wait. No, no, no. I don't think it'd be a problem, but I sure don't want to. I don't want to go there with that with that behind me already. That I'm fighting up to a battle. Like, you're not fighting up your battle. Well, it, 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 it could look that way. Thanks, back now, you guys. What's question, sir? I never got a question. I ain't gonna relevant no more. They don't ask me something else. No, I, I was asking. <laughs> uh, my question was uh, on the. Give me a synopsis of when you come into the to the county. How does it work? And Brandy, you probably can help Hank with this to to leave here that day with the ability to build a house or build ability to move forward with your plans. Where? What is the sequence of events? Well, the building department has a, a packet it's an overall packet that gives them step-by-step -step instructions the first two are to apply for an address and do a land use application and that's where all the review of everything with the property gets done and then we shoot it over to e911 to let them know that hey everything looks good go ahead proceed with addressing and then from that point after that then it's contacting public works for a driveway permit okay. it's just it just falls in line. It just okay. Let's start off with the first thing again. So, so they come in the, and, and they pull the, they, they get the packet and it's nine one one addressing. It, who determines the point whenever you need to get nine one one more involved? That, uh, I tell you this, I want, I'm asking this question for a specific reason because what we just come come right. into the access. Yes. How does that? So the planner reviews it. Planning reviews it. Yes. And then if it's a conflict. We get uh, 911 to say, hey, you know, bell rang, they're in the fourth, third or fourth home going on this property, and that's when we take it into that. Or if, oh, this property looks landlocked, I don't see an easement access on your deed, where's your access? That's my question. So that, that would then engage your conversation with 911? Correct. That's why we always advise applicants that one and two need to be done concurrently together. To keep the process flowing a whole lot more efficiently for the it, it, it's a twofold <clears throat> i mean it, it, it's important that we get emergency services to the residents yeah. therefore you've got to have an address we know that there's a lot of homes out there such as these that don't have addresses i'm not trying to change anybody's task i'm just trying to bring us together as a family because it works handy <coughs> i don't care about the the money i don't care about I just want the staff to be here. Who, who supervises them? It, I could care less about it. Let me work on that this month. Let me work on that. I'm going to ask you again. Can we make a motion well, right to now. approve this contingency? You got three of them. You got right. three of them. Right now, Mr. Everett, there's a motion on the floor. Okay. And what motion are you going to do? I made a motion to approve it contingency upon your approval of the meeting with the, the sheriff. There's okay. a motion on the floor. So now we need a second. I'll second that and continue to find what Mr. Hawkins discussed with the sheriff and that what he did. And I'd like to reiterate, if the sheriff is not for it, it won't be approved. Okay. It's, it's contingent upon the sheriff's approval. Okay, so we have to get back and make a motion. Jeff, how would, what would we do at the next meeting? If there's no approval by the sheriff? Yeah, third no approval. If we got a motion. No, no, no. Nothing happens to discuss why it's continued. Yeah. Okay. Obviously, we want to report back, maybe clarify in a minute, but the motion would basically fail because of the tendency. Okay. Okay. Uh, 
All right. Um, just for the sake of doing, let's do a roll call. Um, start with the tray. Ah. Ah. And yeah, but, okay. Thank you for your comments, Ms. Brandy. That, that yeah, I my decision because I didn't know there were conflicts there. Right. Or not conflicts, but it's a delays and things. Y'all, right. you would listen to the Commissioner Bush. I think it was. Commissioner Ever, are you going to Yes. Okay. <laughs> that was a final. Yeah. 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 Okay. Right. I'm, I'm, we're going to get through this. It's almost lunch. Uh, well, yeah. I was going to say, can we think about it? Um, the, the building department. <laughs> you know the, the, the building <laughs> official. <laughs> the building <laughs> official. Say that again. Can we take a, a five, ten minutes? If you need to. I really need to care. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.